Hey there. I got a very brief video for you, and, and I almost did this in the last video or in the next video, uh, but it's it's such an important concept that I thought it warranted its own video to make sure that you would actually watch it, not just skip over it at the end of one video or the beginning of another. Um, because when we move on with some of our operations, it's going to be extremely easy for you to do something that you really shouldn't do with terms. A lot of people, when they're just starting out in, in math, add and subtract things they have no business adding or subtracting. Uh, no business with, or these things that have no business being added or subtracted. What I'm talking about is adding or subtracting terms. When we can do it and when we can't do it. That has to do with your understanding of what a like term is. What a like term is, it's, it's very well defined, it's not hard to actually notice, but I need it like burned into your mind so that you don't do some really silly things with these terms. Here's what, now we know what terms are. We know that terms are these things connected by multiplication and division. We know what polynomials are. These things that have terms separated by addition and subtraction. Sometimes we can add those terms together. Sometimes we can't. You need to be very good on knowing when that is. And it all stems with you being very good at knowing what like terms are. What like terms are? are these terms with exactly the same variable part. What that means is you have exactly the same variables and those variables are raised to exactly the same exponents. I mean exactly. Notice how this has nothing to do with the coefficients. I could not care less about what the coefficients are. Whether it's negative one third or 17 million, who cares? What like terms have to do with are the variables. They have to be identical. So, very quick lesson. We're just going to go through and look at what like terms mean. So I'm going to give you some terms up here, some pairs of terms, and we're just going to be determining whether they're like terms or whether they're not. And I'll leave you with one final statement um, before we get on to how to add polynomials together. So, all these are two terms. So here's one term, another term, one term, another term, one term, another term, one term, another term. All of these are a, a comparison of two monomials, two terms. These are all connected by multiplication, 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 some division. Uh, that's what we have here. So let's look at the first two terms. I have, well, negative 3y to the third, and we have positive 7y to the third. Notice, I, I still need you good at coefficients. I need you good at that. I need you more good at what variables are and what the exponents are. So here the coefficient is negative 1. The degree would be 3. Coefficient is 7. The degree would be 3. Here's the question. There's obviously two terms. Are they like terms? Like terms are defined as having the same exact variable part. The same variables raised to the same powers. I don't care that that's negative 1. I don't care that's 7. The variable part here is y to the third. The variable part here is y to the third. That's the same exact variable raised to the same exact power. That right there is defining like terms. These are like terms. like terms. Let's look at the next one. There's still two terms. I have 3a squared b to the third. I have 4a cubed b to the second. Coefficient here is 3. Coefficient here is 4. The degree here is 5. The degree of this monomial is also 5. Are they like terms? Well, cover up the coefficients. Just look at the variable part. So cover that up, cover that up. Are they identical? Now, they do have the same variables, and they even have the same degree, but are they identical? Do the variables have exactly the same exponents over exactly the same variables? If the answer is yes, they're like terms. If the answer is no, they're not like terms. So this has to do with degree a little bit. Sure, if the degrees are different, there's no freaking way that those are going to be like terms. However, it's not just about the degrees being the same. It's the degrees are the same in the same proportion amongst the variables. So every variable has to have exactly the same powers as another variable. They have to be identical. These are not like terms. While they do have both a's and b's, that's a to the second, a to the third, they're not exactly the same variable part, not like terms. How about this one? I still have two terms connected by multiplication, connected by multiplication, a little bit of division there because of that fraction. Here the coefficient is negative 2, 
Here the coefficient is 3 halves. Notice how the fraction is okay because I have no variable in the, in, on the bottom of that, on the denominator. The degree here, do you remember the degree? Degree here is 3 because this has a little 1 right there. And the degree here is also 3 because it has a little 1 right there. Are they like terms? Now, like terms have nothing to do with the coefficient. So if I'm looking at like terms, I can basically ignore the, the coefficient to determine whether these are like terms. Are they exactly the same variables raised to exactly the same exponent? x to the first, x to the first, y to the second, y to the second. That's what we define as like terms. These terms, we know what that means, with exactly the same variable parts. We now know what that means. Same variables raised to the same powers. These are like terms. You know, it's very common. I'm giving you these specific ones just so you, you don't make mistakes in a little while. It's very common for people to start confusing exponent rules. Be like, well, I distributed, so I add the exponents so that when I'm, I'm going to add my terms together, I'm going to add those exponents too. Well, firstly, no, you're not. Because you, if you're going to add exponents, you're telling me that you're multiplying. If, if you can't, well, if you, if you do that when you're adding, you're, you're breaking some exponent rules there. Now, what I'm talking about is going to be revealed kind of in the future, but a lot of people really, really, really want to add those together, like a lot. Well, let's see if they're like terms first. We obviously have two terms. The coefficient here is 3. The coefficient here is 2. This is x to the second power having a degree of 2. This is x to the first power having a degree of 1. Are they like terms? Do they have exactly the same variables raised to exactly the same exponent? Well. Those aren't exactly the same. They are the same variable, but they have different powers. That right there, the different powers thing, that ruins it for like terms. This is not. These are not like terms. Very common mistake to, cons to confuse that as being like terms. They're not. They're not exactly the same variable part. Same thing happens here. We have two terms, of course. Negative 5 is our coefficient. Positive 2 is our coefficient. We have a degree of 3. We have a degree of 2. Oh, right there. You're done. If your terms don't have the same degree, that's an automatic no-no. Automatically, you go, they're not like terms. Guarantee it. Because if you have a different degree, uh, then there's no possibility that your exponents can be the same for all your variables. Th that's impossible. So an automatic check is a degree thing. Now, don't confuse this. These did have the same degree but they still weren't like terms. So the degree is not uh, sufficient to say you have like terms. It is necessary, but it's not sufficient to say that you have it. So yeah, you, your degree has to be the same to even be considered like terms, uh, but there's more to it than that. You have to have the same degree and those degree, that degree has to be spread out amongst your variables in the same manner. This doesn't even have the same degree. That's x to the third, that's x to the second. They're obviously different. Those are not like terms. I know I'm getting very specific here because there's a lot of misconceptions that happen. That's why this, this gets um, its own little video for like terms because it's so important. Next up, oh, that's weird. Is that a monomial? Yeah, sure. Constants are automatically considered polynomials, monomials, terms. Yeah, they're there. That's a constant, no variable. That's a constant, no variable. So wait a minute. Are those like terms? Well, do they have exactly the same variable part? It's weird, but yeah, this doesn't have one. This also doesn't have one. So they have exactly the same variable part and having none. They have no variable. Those are like terms. And in general, any pair of constants are always like terms. So numbers, and we're talking numbers here. Constants are just numbers, positive or negative numbers. Uh, those are always like terms. If you want to make a little side note, constant numbers, constants, are always like terms. Constant terms are inherently like terms. Lastly, what about these two? We kind of got simpler as it goes, but sometimes the simple things are what really screw us up. So let's get this one right, too. I still have two terms. One is a variable term, 5x. The other is a constant term, negative 7. Can a variable term ever be a like term with a constant term? 
Well, if like terms are defined as having the same variable part, then absolutely not. One of them has a variable, one doesn't. They're inherently not like terms. You can't be a like term unless you have exactly the same variables raised to exactly the same powers. So if one term has a variable, the other term doesn't, they can't possibly have the same variable term, the variable part. Uh, therefore, these are not like terms. Here's why this is so important to understand. Hopefully you do understand it. Same variable, same power. Not the same variables, well, same variables, but not the same power, not like terms. Same variables, same power, like terms. Not the same variables raise the same power. Same variables, not the same power. Those are not like terms. Same thing here. Here, no variables, automatically constants or like terms, cool. Here, not, the same, not even the same variables. Those can't possibly be like terms. Here's why it's important. You can only add or subtract like terms. What I mean is when you add or subtract, you can combine them. You can only combine like terms. When you add or subtract polynomials, that is the process of combining like terms. Only like terms can be combined. Make it, make it tattoo that right on your forearm, because if you have it tattooed, uh, then it's not cheating, right? I mean, that's, that's like a law. So tattoo that right here that says, I can only, don't, please don't do that. You look ridiculous. Unless you really want to look super dorky, that'd be awesome. But I can only combine like terms. That's it. Like Harry Potter, I must not tell lies, but I can only combine like terms. Same thing. Only like terms can be combined. And by combined, we're going to be doing that by adding and subtracting. So we now know what terms are. We now know what polynomials are as these terms that are joined by addition subtraction. We now know what like terms are. We're getting more specific here. We know that like terms are terms of the same variable part. Terms with exactly the same variables that have exactly the same exponents in exactly the same order uh, as far as the exponents being on top uh, on, um, on each and every variable. And now we know one last statement. Only like terms can be combined. Only like terms can be added or subtracted. We are going to study this when we talk about how to add polynomials in the very next video.